What's going on guys, Copert here, and welcome to the first episode of the new season four of my Timber and Stone Let's Play. This is on patch 1.52, let's just get that out of the way. A previous season was on 1.43, 1.5 was the big patch. I'm kind of anxious to get in here and play with this. I'll get into details of kind of what's new, what to expect in a minute. But before I go too far, I want to explain to you why uh, we're seeing season four and not the end of season three. Uh, a couple of reasons. First one, just being summer, been super busy outside, all that stuff. But the biggest kind of uh, initiative reason is uh, my old PC blew up. <laughs> the motherboard died. Um, I've since built a new PC, but the, the, unfortunately, the the hard drive that that save file is on is still on the old PC. It's there. It hasn't been lost. I just physically have to take the old uh, hard disk out, put it in a new PC. I just I, I have to do that. So I have that save. It's not lost. Uh, we will probably go back, and I probably will like wrap that up with an episode, maybe two. If you guys remember, you go back to watch the last episode, episode sixteen. Um, I was pretty much conquering the countryside. I had done a pretty good job at this point, and we were pretty safe, uh, flourishing. It was just a matter of time until we kind of had the whole countryside under our control. Um, we kind of figured out how to do everything. We had a super, super defensive fort, and that was the goal of that season. If you remember, season two was like we were a little cocky, a little confident, and we just got stomped after the you know the, all the changes that came to the game. Season three was just about survival. Season four is going to be a little bit of a different, a hybrid, a little bit of a blend, and I'll get into that in a second. Um, season three, just to recap, went 44 days in the game. A lot of time spent in there, um, probably upwards of 30, 40 hours in that last play. I would I would guess off the top of my head, it's hard to say with the double speed now. Uh, you can't just extrapolate, you know, this is how many days each day is about 30 minutes, what have you. Um, we had, uh, I would guess that maybe between 20 and 25 citizens at the end. I don't know exactly because some guys have come uh, in off camera, so I have to go back and I will have to watch or, or actually play that save if I want to get it. But I would have to guess between 20 and 25 citizens. You know, we've lost a bunch of people to there. Again, I, that all those statistics are there. Uh, you know, a lot of people, a lot of heroes, uh, literally a hero almost, and, and, and some other, a lot of guys fell to matriarchs and wolves and things. That's Timber and Stone, and that's what kind of makes the game good. It, it's ruthless. It's like the, the Game of Thrones of games, like, where, you know, you get attached to somebody and he just dies in one shot. So, I think that's kind of why I do like the game, and I, and I get so engaged in it, is anybody can die. It's usually my fault if that happens. Uh, it's up to me to save them and help them flourish. So, I really like it. I like management games. Efficiency, you guys know this already. Um, in this one, basically what we're going to do is we're starting over, starting fresh. I'm looking to kind of do a different format, first of all. Let me get onto that. And, and you know what? Let me get into this so these guys get started. I'm just going to introduce you real quick. We've got a hero almost as the wood chopper. You were a soldier last time. You, you fell valiantly. I'm giving you a little bit more of a peaceful role. Again, I, you know, some guys are like, hey, I'd like to be a soldier, an archer. Give me all the glory. You guys are gonna understand. Uh, you know, everybody starts out with kind of a civic duty, a profession, and when it hits the fan, uh, it's all hands on deck. Anybody can become a soldier, so don't just get dissuaded or you know upset if you don't become like a, you know you're just stuck on the farm or something like that. You never know who's gonna end up being the hero. If I've learned one thing in my three seasons now of doing let's plays, but if you are interested and you don't make this first cut of being here, my format is the guys who are active in the comments, liking, giving me feedback and support. You guys will make it in as I get migrants. I don't do it every episode, but I try to do it as actively as I can. You guys know I answer all comments and things. So if you're active in the comments below, even Twitter would, ha would be fine. Just make sure you let me know what your you know kind of name would be, and I will add you in as the series goes on. Hero Almost, he is the woodchopper. We have got Grizz. He is one of the farmers. I'm starting with a different lineup here. I should get it. I have a lot to talk about. Uh, Juets Forager. Let me talk about Juets for a minute. And, and I'm just going to go back to Grizz for a second. He was also a soldier, so I flipped him over into the farm. Again, you never know where you're going to end up, sir. But welcome to the colony. Uh, Juets. Juets, you've been in every season so far, I believe, if I'm not wrong. Um, I think every season you've kind of been either like the farmer or... Or I think you were the craftsman. You've basically been a house <laughs> maid or, you know, the, that just a trader in essence. So I gave you the forager. It's a little more excitement for you. Get you out of the house a little bit, buddy. Get you that adventure I know you're looking for. So enjoy yourself this time around. Don't die, though. Don't die. <laughs> uh, we've got a rock. I believe that's how you say it. You've been always in the forums, uh, in the forums, in the comments and stuff. Very cool. You're in there. You're as a miner, sir. 
Uh, Dark XL6, another regular steady commenter in season three. I just went through season three really quick, clicking on a bunch of random videos and, and the names I saw continuing to reappear. So it's a little bit of random drawing, but if you commented a lot, there's a good chance you got noticed. If you didn't, again, just keep doing what you're doing and I will add you in at a, at a later date. He is a minor this time around. We've got CPR Bariqua. Did I say that right? We do this every time and I'm never sure. I'll probably just call you CPR for short. You are going to be the craftsman, the stonemason, the blacksmith, the carpenter, the jack of all trades. You are going to be the uh, you know industrial <laughs> member of the colony supplying all the resources that I need to build this very ambitious goals that I'm going to get into. Hero again, wood chopper. Did we cover the next great legend is the other farmer. Uh, just a note on that, the farmer. Oh geez, I think it was a legend. Uh, hard worker and quick learner. I put on one of the farms. I believe is the other. No, I think actually. This guy is hard worker, good for a farmer, quick learner. Farmer is always the hardest one and one of the most important ones to level up. So I always put like the hardest worker, quick learner, the best attributes I can. I don't know how much of an effect it has. And I did it on CPR here. I did quick learner on here. I didn't do the farmer for him because he's got a lot to learn. He's going to have to learn stone masonry, blacksmithing, carpentry, probably tailoring, engineering. He's got a lot of things to learn. So I figured that quick learner couldn't hurt on him. Otherwise, everybody else didn't matter so much. Uh, I had a couple courageous guys, which will kind of matter in this save. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn them on. I do have some rudimentary instructions. Let me get into what I plan to do. First, let's talk about formats. So I would have these guys go. I'm, I'm keeping it slow speed as I start uh, farm without a hoe. I have hoes supposedly being made, I believe. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, I got them over here. You guys can see a hammer. He should be making this stuff pretty soon. I, I tried to do this so I could just get right in and talk to you guys. Oh, I gotta get used to doing that. All right, so new format. Here's what I want to do. And typically, what I've done is I've played, and as things exciting things have happened, I've brought you guys in, and we've let's played from there, and talked about what I'm doing and things. Or if something exciting happened, attack or something, I brought you in, and those are the episodes. Almost like a summary style, a review. Uh, I'm gonna do it differently this time. I'm gonna basically do a journalistic style uh, of a let's play. You're gonna see just about everything. Uh, basically, what I'm gonna do is, is every day is gonna be an episode. So this is day one episode one my hope is that when i get to day 32 that might be episode 32 if we live that long obviously um it it's gonna make for maybe slower gameplay and not as exciting gameplay but i think most of you guys that know where did you go you need tongs don't god i keep doing that that's my problem okay i gotta remember this sorry this whole escape thing is a little crazy so we're gonna put you on blacksmith so you can Right, what's the problem here? See, it's, it's been a while since I've played this stone. These uh, stone tongs are new. Raw stone wood logs. Okay, I don't have any wood logs. That is why we're waiting here. Otherwise, then I have. We're gonna move this up. See, I had some things queued up for you guys, but I need wood. Is is what we need here. Okay, so, uh, yeah, journalistic style, hopefully going to do it. It's going to be a little slower. It's not going to be as exciting. There might be some flat-out boring episodes. I'm a little leery in this. I'm worried because there is a lot of times I do literally just sit here and watch guys mine. as kind of what I'm doing right now. But um, I'm going to have a very ambitious uh, settlement here. Let me just bring it up for you guys. You can see the map. I have the draw distance not so big because, of course, I'm recording. But you can see this nice little river that runs through here. We'll give you a quick little tour as those guys get underway. Uh, very good resources. Let me touch on that in case you guys are... If there's a way I can give you guys a seed, let me know. I, I should look that up, and I'll offer that in the description. Uh, this one is grasslands, um, flat, medium-density trees, and with a river in it. Um, basically... Uh, they have new numerical values, so it's 90, 60, 93, 87 for the minerals. You know, 93 is tin, 60 is copper, 93 is iron, 87 is coal, and 46 is the chickens. That's the only one I really pay attention to in the animals. Uh, feathers, obviously, being very important. Uh, I start off with flax, carrots, and corn. Uh, so that's what we're starting out with. Uh, you can see I've placed some stuff around here, so let me just kind of bring into you what my plan is you can see i have set the miners this is going to be the moat guys this is going to be a pretty ambitious project a big uh, fortified town uh not just a castle i'm going to build obviously a big wall as i'm as i'm prone to do um i should just get rid of i don't really i'm gonna stop this project just for now this is a secondary i don't need that done this moment the the, the wall would be the priority in my opinion uh, you, there's a lot of digging to do here. That's why you notice I started out with two. Um, build more mining. Yeah, well, have you built one at all? I set them out. That's all right. They'll get there. Um, 
yeah, it's a big, ambitious project. You can see the wall. This is the moat. I'm going to build a big wall in between. The moat's going to be bigger. Um, it's going to probably be four or five wide, two or three deep. We'll see. We'll see how progress goes. And then, obviously, when we're all done with it, I will open it to the water, fill it with water. We're going to have a legit moat. We're going to have the main entrance over here, big drawbridge, some big towers. You guys know in my other ones, I'm very uh, right angle, straight lines. Uh, boxy squares, rectangles. This one I'm going to try to do differently, more circles. And you can see, I use kind of a circle tool I found on the web, and this took me a long time to set this up and get it right. This is pretty freaking big. I think it's like 170 squares or 175 cube uh, diameter. But then there's going to be Main Street. It's just going to come right down through here. This is just my compass here to give me bearings. This is the absolute center of the city. And then I'm going to build buildings there. I'm going to build like churches, a barracks, houses, uh, build some beds, assign those guys to the bed so that, you know, uh, who do we got here on the farm? I don't even remember it anymore. But, you know, the two farmers work on the farm all day. Was it Grizz and... Grizz and Next, uh, Next Rate Legend. And then, you know, when the sun goes down, it's time to go to sleep. They walk off to their house and their beds in their rooms and they go to sleep. I just figured that would be kind of cool. Big projects to work on, and you know, I don't know if I can do it. You know, we might get wiped out before that, but we're gonna try like hell. There's somebody came over here and mined that, and I just left it, and that's interesting. So, uh, it's important I get underway, I get things going, and we get you know some progress because it's it's gonna be a lot of work, and it's gonna be a while before I'm actually to a level where I'm I feel fairly secure. Now, I don't have any wall here, I will build kind of a flagstone or fieldstone wall probably. Uh, and then go right to brick three. We learned in episode or season three that brick is very important, much better than cobblestone. So we're going to try to get right into that right away. Hoping it'll also keep my stone down uh, will be kind of my hope. What we will see. And yeah, so we're going to have a big, you know, kind of entryway right here. We're going to have to do some terraforming in here. Big projects, big projects. You guys know that's what I like. Uh, big towers here with some uh, tre uh, trebuchets. Uh, what the heck are they called again? I can't think of it. It's, 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 uh, escaping me. Oh, that's not what I want. Siegecraft. Ballistas, that's right. Oh, I don't know how to do all this now. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna work on defenses, obviously. And then I'm gonna try to build uh, a city here. I'm gonna have roads. Uh, now there's all kinds of new things we can use. We can use patrol routes. I can set patrol routes for people. So I, eventually I'd like to set up a highway system. I actually put stone in the ground, have it lit up with lights and things, and, and make it very official. Uh, a highway system leading to this nice fortified city. Uh, again, all four directions. We're probably gonna have the road bend around this way and go up over a bridge that way so we can get to that edge. Um, but yeah, and then I'm gonna have, I want it, would like to have soldiers patrolling those roads, and that's gonna keep the monsters down. It's gonna keep the spiders down because all we really, really fear at this point are uh, matriarchs, right? I mean, those things are freaking nasty. Um, why is nobody? I mean, whatever. It's not a big deal. I don't have the stone for a wine. Oh, because he's probably doing more dirt than stone. That would make sense. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it's gonna be fun. And even over here, I'm excited to kind of play with. Once I get it all built in the wall over here, we're going to actually have a secondary wall, you know, a smaller wall, just in case, because things can come through the water. Um, I don't like these new fonts, by the way, in the new update. Uh, what is it? Uh, skeletons can definitely come through the water. They can get at you. I don't know if they will. You know, that's pretty far away to get aggro. But just to be safe, I'll have a secondary wall across the back here. A couple, probably dungeon gates or something. And then I'm going to build a pier system out here. All made out of wood with some docks and stuff. Probably have a couple fishermen to help with food. And, uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. I got a lot of different things to f play with. I'm trying to avoid just building this boxy castle and, you know, telling everybody to come at me. Because I've done that a couple times. And something That's the, probably the soundest way to play the game. I'm just kind of cruising around, getting some look of the landscape. But, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to get back into the game. I did miss it. Uh, we're just going to close that down for a minute. Actually, I'll probably end up leaving that up. But you see how about the farm started? Uh, farms are a little different. They uh, prioritize seeds now more than they would now why do i only have one farmer because i only have one hoe is that what's going on here now did i also yes see i gotta change him back to stonemason what is going on uh what do i not have i got some wood i'm um, all this whole uh stone tongs thing i don't really think i need those so let's put those up there. I don't have wood. That's basically what I'm... I don't have stone. Okay, that's a problem. Gonna need some stone. Where is my miner? There he is. Yeah, the pro that's gonna be an issue because they are going to be prioritizing 
the the dirt. Oh, that's not what I want. I don't know where he was just working, but okay. I do need another thing, so I should probably put him over there. Uh, I'm just looking, getting situated, got some hammers. So yeah, I could probably get him working on that, but I, come on, I need some tools. He's got to stand around. That's not good. I wanted to get a good jump start on the farm. Obviously, that's pretty important. All right, you know what? You, Fofi, for now, you are going to go mine as well, but you don't have a tool. This is retarded. Um, and you're walking all the way back. Why would you not build any of these mining piles I have here? Because I don't have the rock to do it, I guess, huh? You're coming back there. You're probably looking for... Now, I can't break rock without a pickaxe. Is that what you're telling me? I'm a little confused. <laughs> you can probably break it with your hands, can't you? Like, it doesn't it just take forever? Because otherwise, I don't know how you... You'd think I'd never played this game before. Stone pickaxe. I don't do I have any of this stuff. I have copper to make it, so let me get a let me get one of them. Why? Oh, forging. I need. I don't need that for these, do I? No. What is getting built? Oh, okay. That's getting built. That's kind of silly. All right. So we've got some wood. I have mining piles waiting to be built. Why wouldn't the guys idle build them? Because we don't have rocks. Uh, I've never had this problem before to never have stone. But, yeah. It's a problem, apparently, because I don't have any hose. Where's... Where's my other miner that's actually working? Why don't you come over here, dude? Get some stone over here for me. I know it's a kind of a waste of the time. Why, why are you walking so slow? Why do you have some dirt in you? Uh, I keep doing it. I'm going to do that a lot. Hit, hit the escape button. All right, we've got stone mason here. What can he make? Nothing, because I don't have stone. Miners and, miners and farmers standing around is just not a good thing. Uh, we started out with 11 arrows. Not great. I've already got a seedling. That's good, because I'm going to definitely start planting trees back over here. Get that little tree farm going. That was one of my big choke points in the last place, so I want to do it right from the start. This time, raw stone. I need some raw stone. Why? Where is this guy? There he is. Go, go, dump, your, go dump your load, dude. How do I do this again? Where is it? Why will... How do I do this? It was like a little button in here last time. I guess not. Maybe they changed. They've changed everything like so subtly that I can't remember what is going on. Alright. I'm probably just not seeing it because I'm nervous talking to you guys. So, let's just turn this on again. You can get an idea because I'm going to wrap up this episode. I don't want it to be too long. Uh, actually, no. I'm not doing that. That's right. I'm forgetting that we are doing raw episodes here. So, we're midday. Not getting anything really done because I don't even think this guy's gonna do anything because he doesn't have the inventory. Uh, oh yeah, I want to keep an eye on who, when he cuts these around here because I'm gonna have to get rid of the stumps. How do you get stone? Hmm. Yeah. Now where are you going now? I don't understand where you're going. Oh my God! It's so annoying. And I'm sure a forge and anvil. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. All right, cool. So we'll just pop these over here. I don't know if he's going to have the skill, actually, to... Stonemason should get him going. You are a stonemason. Oh, what? It does take raw stone. What did I just look at? I don't know. Frustrated. I don't understand how I'm supposed to get stone. It's probably something really obvious. Now, where did that guy go? All right, yeah. He already went to the thing, though. He went here. I understand. Well, my first mistake was to fill out all this mining. Hey, apparently, he has nowhere to put it. But I can't get any stone because he has no inventory. So where is he going? A 
I'm just looking quick. I, I, like, what am I supposed to do? I got miners sitting around. Let's, let's think here. <sighs> I should have had him apparently. Yeah, you might as well actually go fish, right? Oh, that's right. Don't have a fishing pole. I probably need string for that. Yep, I do. Oh my god, so annoying. So chop some wood then. Let's just get something done here, no? Oh, where did he go? He's coming back over here for what? To get one little block? I'm very confused by that. I will build the mining pile, folks, as soon as you give me the stone to do so. Yeah, make sure you get that one block. This is so silly. Uh, it's like I'm I'm stuck here. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Because I can't do it. He, of course, he went over here to get this dirt for some reason. He did this dirt, and I knew that was going to happen. That's fine. Because I, I, I'm just going to fill that in with stone or something. That's, like I said, my compass point showing me the center of the circle I used. Just give me an idea for the road. Like this right here, too, as well. This is the center point of the gate. I'll build the gate around it. I'm going to probably do some circular towers in here. Big, nice towers. Uh, I want to get some... The idea... I don't know if I'm going to do like the maze-like entry that I did last time. I just seemed like overblown. Uh, I'm definitely going to do redundancies. Uh, but probably not as obnoxious as I did in Season 3. And I have big circular towers that come out. And the idea, I think, is I'm going to have the trebuchet aimed right down at the door. Two of them. You know, again, resources permitting, which might be a long way off. So that when something comes up and hits the castle door... I did find out, too, castle doors... Um, they are dependent on your engineer's skill. So where did he go now? Yeah, he's still full of dirt. Like, what am I supposed to do here? Dude, come over here and get this. I'm very confused and kind of frustrating because there's nothing I can do. I can't build a mining stockpile. I can't believe this is like right now. Weapon rack, I don't need that. What do I want? I'm looking for. Eight raw stone. That's what I need. I need raw stone. And I can't find I can't I can't get it. Because he's full of dirt now. And I don't have any tools. I can't build tools because I don't have anything. Uh, I mean, we have. I can make iron, but I need to forge an anvil. Can't make forge an anvil because those are carved stone. <laughs> oh my goodness. So weird. I can even make this. Am I not thinking of something? Hey, well, he's moving awfully quick. Why is he moving so quick? What is he going now suddenly? What the heck is he doing? Oh, eating. Awesome, yeah. Use up resources. Okay, so what I'm going to do then... Cancel that construction. Cancel that construction. I want... Stone hose. Hose don't need a lot, do they? But he can't get rid of him, can he? I've got it. Change in his profession. Yep. So we are going to go... Might as well chop. Then he is full, hopefully going to grab the pickaxe. And we can go move him over to the stones. And let him hopefully mine a couple stones. <laughs> and then I'm going to have to get one of these made right away. With the first eight, I should. I, I gotta make another pickaxe with it, actually. All right, we're gonna speed it up for you guys. It's gonna be a very exciting first episode, that's for sure. Never thought all the things I planned again. You know, I'm sitting here thinking about getting this nice, looking nice, getting everything going. 
this is a waste of a day and it's kind of uh kind of saddening to be honest got the wood guys working which is nice now you should go get this hoe right yes go get the hoe or the pickaxe Yes, I know you don't have an axe. I don't care what you do. Did you get rid of your stone? You, you got rid of everything now? No, you didn't. Oh, you got stone too. How, you can't even get rid of it. Good lord. So annoying. All right, I need this guy to get eight, and that's it. <laughs> so we're going to make it so that he, well, he can get as many as he wants. He's going to town. Good. We're going to get eight. That's a mining stockpile. A couple extras. Good, good, good. We get a couple extra pickaxes. All right, so we've untied the knot, I think. We should be okay, except for the long, incredibly long walk. What I need to get one of these guys to do, as soon as he drops that off, is to obviously, wood chopper, is to build one of these. <laughs> that is what I need. I tried to strategically put them around. Stone is never a problem. I've never had a problem with stone. I didn't really think of it, but the fact that, yes, I am making them dig a lot of dirt first. So... I probably will have to be careful with that. I'm actually going to then have him do that. That won't hurt. And then hopefully he can come in. We don't have any stone. Literally, he can't get rid of the stone either. I don't understand. Like, then what do we have? We have dirt. Okay, then I know what I'll do. Uh, sand. No, it's sand. Uh, building. What uses... Nothing uses dirt, except for bricks, huh? But I don't have any raw stone to use it. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing uses up dirt. So now dirt is sitting in there. Because apparently my storage is full from dirt. This is the stupidest... It's like almost a bug, no? What? He can't... He can't drop anything. Because... It's... The, the cart is all full of dirt. I'm very confused. Oh, there we go. That's right. We can do this. Yes, we can. As you sit here, you can go builder. Everybody's already changing it. So there you go. That should work. Everybody's already changed all the rows, roles. I'm going to have to go back and organize everybody again. And now it's dusk. But that should get rid of the dirt. No, that's not what I need you to do. Come back here. Hopefully, if I put this dirt in, that will alleviate the dirt in the cart. Uh, sometimes I wonder why I like this game, but I do really like this game. and It's really kind of bizarre. Oh, uh, man. That's quite a misstep right out of the box, though. Let me tell you. Not the start I was looking for. I needed a really good start. I needed to go. <laughs> I needed to get going. What is he making? So now he can... Oh, the other guy dropped that off. Okay. So I have no other pickaxes. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Uh, make sure everybody... See, he's supposed to be... You're supposed to be a miner, my friend. You go mine. Ah, I, can't, I can't keep doing that. Now you're a miner. What are you sitting here for? Oh, you're... Why did you just grab a hammer? Is that what you're supposed to grab? That's new. And he's going to go build the stockpile. That's good. That's what I need you to do. I'm not sure. Yeah, you're going to sit there and hang out. You're getting rock. That's what I need. All right. I think we are now underway. I've got some stone. I'm assuming he's got enough to build that one. Plenty of logs. Doing all right on food uh, just because of the... The forager. Uh, quickly, I'll tell you, I have carrots. I have corn. Uh, I had six or seven of each, but I made, obviously, this is 12 plot 
pots, what they're going to do is they're going to start prioritize. I think they're only going to get seeds until they can plant the full crop. Now, so there's a little science to how you have to do it. I just did it this way because I knew I would have the forager to carry me. This is also flax. Flax is important to make rope, which is important to make training dummies. So that's why I did flax in early. I didn't do a lot, but I do want to get some training dummies if I can early and dedicate one of these guys to an infantryman. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it as an archer. I'm just not going to have the resources for that. But somebody that at least kind of helped defend us if so be, if we're, we need it would be really, uh, really good. I would feel a lot less exposed, especially now that we've basically uh, wasted a day. So that is the plan. We will see how it works. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to see actually how well you guys can watch as this gets darker. Uh, so we'll figure that out. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end episode here. This is the end of day one, a kind of folly filled day one, tripping over myself, getting a little uh, storage locked. But I'm gonna get all these mining piles kind of sorted out. We'll get them all set up. These guys are gonna be tearing up the wood, which is great. Um, and we're gonna have plenty of wood. But I gotta get that trench and that moat dug for some security. I'm gonna have a get a guy to start building a probably a cobblestone wall. So we gotta get these the, the infrastructure the industry building and going for security. Otherwise, I mean we are we are very exposed. It makes me a little nervous because we are relatively close. We don't have to worry about our back so much, I don't think, but you know, something could spawn here and kind of easily aggro somebody. So we're a little closer than I like to be. But uh, there you go. There's episode one, guys, of season four of Timber and Stone, uh, kind of building our fortified city. I uh, hope you enjoyed, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode.